Hello everyone, welcome back to Investor Diaries. In today's video, we'll try to cover Square Afterpay acquisition and we, as you guys know, are pretty excited about this. We think Jack Dorsey has hit a gold mine and this acquisition is going to take Square to an all new highs. So what has happened here? Square Inc, the digital payments platform led by Jack Dorsey who also owns Twitter, they've agreed to buy the Australian firm Afterpay, which is the buy now pay later company for 29 billion US dollars. And this is the largest ever acquisition of Square. This acquisition essentially aims to enable the companies to better deliver compelling financial products and services that expand to more consumers. And at the same point of time, it delivers incremental revenues to merchants of all sizes. Although the deal was announced recently, but the closing of this particular transaction is expected to occur in the first quarter of calendar year 2022. So we all know what Square does and what, what the company is all about. But what exactly is Afterpay? So Afterpay is an Australian financial technology company and it operates in Australia, New Zealand, UK, Canada and the United States. It was founded in 2015 and launched in the US in 2018. It is best known for its buy now pay later offering. And what it really does is it lets consumers purchase items on credit and pay later in a series of installments. It is particularly popular among the younger customers and some of them may not even have their credit card. And the consumers use them to use this feature to buy clothes, beauty products and other homewares. There are no fees or interest levied as long as people pay on time and this is the this is the attractive feature of Afterpay. So how does Afterpay make money? There are two sources of revenue. First, merchant side. Afterpay charges merchants a 30 cent flat fee on every transaction. On top of that, merchants pay a variable fee that ranges between 4% and 6%. The actual percentage is dependent on the value and volume a merchant is able to sell. The more the merchant sells, of course, the lower are its fees. Now, the second source of revenue comes from the buyer side. And this is typically from the late payment fees. These fees are paid whenever a customer does not settle his or her payment on time. And the due date is normally defined on the invoice. There are a lot of details in terms of how much a customer has to pay depending on what installment they skip. We'll not go into the details for the purposes of this video. So let's talk a little bit about the synergies that result from this M&A. First, it's going to enhance both the seller and the cash app ecosystems. So Afterpay's global merchant base will accelerate Square's growth with larger sellers and expansion into new geographies while further helping to drive acquisition of new Square sellers. Afterpay will expand Cash App's growing product offering, enable customers to manage their repayments, and at the same point of time, help customers discover new merchants when the Afterpay app is integrated within the Cash App. So this is an important point, folks. In the future, we'll have one app, which is Square's Cash App, and all the features of Afterpay app will be integrated within the Cash app. The second point is brings added value, differentiation and scale to Afterpay. So Afterpay will benefit from Square's large and growing customer base of more than 70 million annual transacting active Cash app customers and millions of sellers, which will further expand Afterpay's reach and growth both online as well as in person. Afterpay consumers will receive the benefits of Cash App's financial tools, including money transfer, stock and Bitcoin purchases, cash boost, and more. And finally, it is going to drive long-term growth with meaningful revenue synergy opportunities. So Square believes that Afterpay will be accretive to gross profit growth with a modest decrease in adjusted EBITDA margins expected in the first year after the completion of this transaction. Square sees an opportunity to invest behind Afterpay's strong unit economics as well as attractive growth synergies, including the opportunity to introduce offerings and drive incremental growth for sellers and increased engagement for cash app customers. 
So what is the recommendation here at Investor Diaries? So we think this M&A is a perfect fit and there are a lot of synergies for Square and Afterpay both on the merchant side as well as the buyer side. You all know we here at Investor Diaries love Square and, um, and its stock and we think it's a great time for the company and the stock as well. It is a great stock to own and what we recommend is buy a few stock right away. Now, the market looks like it's giving a thumbs up to this transaction because the Square's stock price has gone up after this deal was announced. It is possible that the Square stock price would come down. In that case, we would suggest buy more and dollar cost average your cost price. So that's all folks for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it and thanks a lot for tuning in.